And we've got new menus as well where you can choose different elements to customise your meal. Sounds a bit complicated. Can't you just choose something from the old menu? Yeah, of course. I'll leave you to decide. Might want to sort out that typo, though. Sorry? On the new menu bit. Can you uh, spell wrong, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Right. What is up with you? I'm fine. You're not fine. Is it because the back group was cancelled? It wasn't. What? I went online to see if they'd arrange another, but we had them, because they're still meeting tonight. Oh. What? You knew? Why? Why did he lie about it? Look, he had his reasons, OK? Yeah. Like he's ashamed to be seen with me. Like he doesn't want me in his precious group. That is not true. Don't worry. I'm used to it. People thinking I'm a weirdo. Roy is not like that, and he thinks the world of you. Oh, look, it was the others. All right, the small-minded little idiots. They didn't want you there. Roy told him to stuff it. He resigned. Hi. Hi, Gran. How do you spell Paneer, Jeff? What? I mean, literally, how do you spell it? Hiya. I'll remind you, shall I? You spell it like this, which is incorrect. Oh, I see. It's a spelling lesson, is it? Well, I'm very sorry, miss. For what? For making up bad reviews about me and posting them online. What on earth? You... Alia, please don't be silly. Oh, I'm not being. Look, the same word, the same spelling mistake. Bit of a coincidence, isn't it? A spelling mistake. That's your smoking gun. You see the thing that upsets me the most? That you could think that I would sabotage our own business. Well, you want me out. That's obvious. Not true. I thought you said Ray Crosby sent those bad reviews. And he has a real grudge against you. No, I was wrong about that. But the reviews, they were so detailed. They must have been written by someone who knows the place. Look, I can see you feel persecuted by the reviews, by Ray, and even, it seems, by me. But there is another explanation, a very simple one. The reviews are real. Maybe you've let these paranoid feelings get to you and they've affected the way you interact with our customers. That's ridiculous. This is all part of his plan to get me out, to make everything look like it's my fault. Look, I'm sure he posted those reviews because he makes the same spelling mistake. I don't. Ray doesn't. He does. You have to decide who you believe. I don't know who sent those awful reviews, but I can't believe it was Jeff who sent them. Why would he? You've heard him. He thinks of you as part of his family. And the two of you are getting along so well. I don't believe this. You're upset. I am upset. Jeff's upset. But you cannot go around making unfounded accusations. Thank you. He is playing you. Don't say that. You need to work on your spelling. I'm guessing you've not come for a late lunch. I come in peace. Oh, really? Do you think I like all this rowing? I think you do. Or is it perhaps six or one, half a dozen of the other? You see, I can compromise. But it must be as clear to you as it is to me. We cannot go on like this. I stand by everything I said. Good for you. And that's why I think you should go. Me? As the skinny guy in Sparks used to say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. What are you on about? Yasmin and I will give you a decent price for your share of the business. You want to buy me out? You want to go on like this? It's all part of the plan. Think about it. No need. I will never hand over something I've worked so hard to build to a man like you. OK. I think I'll do a bit of gardening. Got a few nasty weeds I need to get rid of.